Yes, yeah, so ideal for Zal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the end of days trading, the 6th of Feb 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so in terms of uh, end of day stats, let's just uh, uh, recap here in terms of Europe, certainly uh, suffering from a risk off bout. You have the German DAX down 1.2%, the CAC. 40 down almost a percentage point the FTSE MIB down more than two percent and the IBEX and the stock 600 down almost a percentage now uh, risk off in Europe due to multiple reasons which I explained yesterday certainly looking for risk aversion and uh, the main one being uh, the uh, talk or the anti-trade rhetoric from Mr Trump uh, com complaining about Germany's potential surplus in terms of trade and uh, obviously accusing it of currency manipulation which led Draghi to certainly defend that, okay, uh, and uh, we certainly have uh, Mr. Schauble uh, arguing towards a higher euro as well, okay, in terms of rebalancing that trade, uh, obviously a deficit to war, well for the for the Americans. Now uh, we have that, so we also have trade protectionism. We have fears in Europe from Miss Le Pen, okay, starting off her potential uh, uh, rhetoric for uh, the presidency uh, in France. We have uh, yields between the German. And uh, French bond yields certainly certainly diverging as well, apportioning greater risk to, uh, to to France. Now again, that's certainly a risk aversion trade. Uh, the euro did actually dip post Draghi, arguing towards more QE, but that certainly was uh, reduced or negated by the fears of um, protectionism, trade wars, currency wars, and obviously the uh, the actual left wing uh, and fascists and uh, extremists certainly gaining power in Europe. Uh, after a Trump world, okay, uh, Mr. Trump certainly again back to his normal self, okay, uh, digging in and certainly uh, arguing towards his potential refugee and uh, Muslim ban. Okay, so that certainly seems to be the uh, the uh, the actual uh, dominant theme. Now, U.S. markets certainly on phase so far. Uh, the Nasdaq still at the lofty heights. Uh, the uh, European markets certainly have been uh, under severe pressure, given the fact that we close weaker. Even though factory orders certainly came in stronger from Germany today, Chinese data certainly came in in line as well. Centix investor confidence certainly came in uh, more or less in line. And yet the market still certainly found a, a reason to uh, sell off given the fears. Now let's look at the actual technical picture now. D DAX daily chart, the HS formation. Just be made aware, be made wary of that. Okay, so I have highlighted that the HS formation. Now, given the fact that we have stronger factory orders, it's very hard for that to actually play out. So just bear that in mind. And also the Nasdaq itself is not selling off. So just bear that in mind. Now, 60-minute chart at the moment did close a gap below at 11.535. Actually pushed even lower at 11.510. Currently sitting below 11.500 after hours. If that continues, the next support is seen at 11.430. So just uh, certainly keep that in mind. Now we do have an unfilled gap above at like 11.815 and that certainly doesn't need to come into play at some time. The 10 minute chart, the German DAX certainly uh, overextended from my perspective. Certainly looking for a bounce now that we are into horizontal support given the fact that we've closed the gap as well. Okay, certainly looking for that to, to come into play. Uh, horizontal resistance certainly held here. Previous resistance equals support here. So any thrust back up to 11.570, watch out in terms of the uh, resistance zone in that region okay now moving on to the french cac let's give you an insight on the french cac daily chart hns formation still active it looks like it wants to target that gap filled below at 4750 currently trading around the 4770 zone you have unfilled gap below at 4630 as well hns target being 4710 okay so bias certainly remains bearish on the CAC. 60-minute uh, chart certainly did close that gap in the end, okay, 4.795, and actually fl flushed even lower, okay, so back down to support at 4.775, and like I said, gap fill is 4.750, and it certainly seems inevitable given the rise of Miss Marilyn Le Pen, okay, and also the, uh, the political uncertainty with regards to Mr. Phylon and uh, his um, potential fraud claims of his family or Mrs. certainly being paid when she shouldn't have, okay, so again, uh, political uncertainty certainly seems to be the dominant theme. Looking at the 10 minute chart, okay, of uh, the French CAC, again, like I said, it certainly is screaming gap fill below at 4750. Well, you have support here, so it certainly needs to be respected. The HS formation certainly was negated until it actually played out in the end. Interesting scenario there. Uh, certainly looks like it wanted to shake out a few of the, uh, the actual uh, shorts before it actually eventually started to fall, okay? So, again, watch out uh, for support at 4775 that fails and you are looking at gap fill support 
at 4750 below okay now in terms of the FTSE 100 let's just bring up a chart here daily chart I did actually indicate that you have resistance at the key 7205 and we certainly held up resistance okay going over to the uh, 60 minute chart now 200 MA resistance horizontal resistance certainly held we flush back down to uh, 7170 so it'll be interesting to see if we can hold that if we fail to hold that then you have 7160 support and obviously if you flush lower then you look back at 7130 okay in terms of the FTSE 100 okay I think that's a wrap folks be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and be sure to uh, certainly take advantage of that bonus goodbye now